Last time, we installed the pedestal and the firebox on the Dragon Rocket Stove. Before we begin covering the rocket stove with cob, the air inlet needs to be considered. That's going to be the mechanism that opens a flap inside the pipe so that I can regulate the air coming into this inlet okay. and outside air coming in. What's important is that this turn handle thing doesn't get too far in to our sculpture. Dad and I have to figure oh, out how the dragon pretty. sculpture head, will right? be formed before he puts in the air intake yeah, you can have pipe. It, like crouched and then its tail come up. So we're continuing to experiment with the rocket stoves and so this one we're experimenting with the air vent. Air will be coming from the outside. When we need uh, welding work we go to Garen. And what we've designed here is a flapper that we'll be able to put in here that'll flap open and close so we can control the airflow from outside. Open, closed. I can flip it and I can make it stop. We're gonna move our hole over. It's gonna be nice, we're gonna be able to test the whole thing before we do any of the artwork. Here, the shoulders are here, right? Based on what chain I decide where it's gonna fit on. I install the intake pipe. I'm gonna cement this little fella in. Get it positioned right so that we can have this uh, air intake. So we have it off, on, and partially on. But we want to be able to shut it off just in case it doesn't work. <laughs> well, no, we have to regulate the air. We'll have it wide open when the fire is burning the hottest. That way it's pulling as much from the outside as we can. This thing looks like a jet engine. When the ashes fall down, Dad wants to have a clean out right here. Because it's going to be kind of the, this is going to be like the last corner before it goes out. So it's gonna be a place where ashes is probably gonna collect, if there are any ashes. Yeah. So there's only two places. One's the firebox, which we can get to this way, and the other place is right here. Let's go over to the poop barn and cut that one piece and bring it over. Let's do it. So now it's time to build the combustion chambers. And so we found some old parts off an older one that we built a while back. It's one of our first ones that we did. And we're just gonna take the top off of that one and put it on this one. We're taking a look at this um, old one that we did, the very first one we ever breeze. did. And I love the outside of it. This old rocket stove is made from an old hot water tank. So cut this off so that we can get our outtake and then just leave the top like it is and use that as our top of our, our uh, combustion chamber. chamber top. And, this one is and then this one's already made. Uh, all we have to do is drop it down an inch and that'll be our combustion chamber on the inside. This is a, a linseed oil can, like this one over here. The linseed oil, old linseed oil can. And it has a six inch pipe in the middle. The Cob around the outside. Our, yeah. Let's modify this right now. Okay. So we get this cut right so that we can hook up and make sure the barrel is going to fit. You need this thing to be a foot, and that's because this is a six inch pipe. It's the three to one ratio. So from the bottom of this stuff here needs to be 18. So. That actually looks pretty pretty. Gorgeous. Muscle, but yeah. It's good to me. Let's see, what, well. Let's see where we're at here. Okay. I'm happy with that. All right, now. let's uh, measure up now. We have to have two inches clearance. Oh, if we measure from right, right here, Dad, down, that would give us plenty of room. Garen stops by to show us his Thor helmet he's been working on for Comic Con. It's really cool. It is cool. Stay tuned for next time as we continue building on our rocket stove. Hope you had a wonderful week, and we'll see you back here next time. Thank you.
spot. I need you to kind of help me out here. Whoa. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Pretty much just an experimentation every time we do one of these, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It really is. <laughs> the USA. No. Wait, it's made in the USA. How often do you see that? Hey, hey. Now it's time to find Bryson. Okay, where is he? <laughs>